Hi, this is Dr. Fast here. In this video, I will show you this very cool gadget for your home. What I have here is a Wi-Fi video doorbell from the company IC Bell. This is an all-in-one video doorbell kit that includes the IC Bell HD video doorbell, the indoor nightlight chime, it connects via Wi-Fi to your home router, so you can access it remotely using the smart app that supports both iOS and Android devices. The app will give you the ability to view the live streaming video and also allow you to have a two-way conversation with a visitor at your door. The unit also features night vision mode and motion detection capture. You also have the option to subscribe to IC Bell for the cloud recording service. So let me unbox this and I'll show you what this Wi-Fi video doorbell looks like. Inside this packet, we have a sticker you can put on your window. This is an indoor chime setup guide. This is the in-app setup guide. This is the setup and installation guide. This white box is the indoor nightlight chime. This is the IC Bell high definition video doorbell. In this bag are some connectors and wires. This is a mounting bracket. This is the AC adapter that connects to your indoor nightlight chime. Here's the AC power adapter. These are some additional screws for installation. Also comes with a screwdriver. And a masonry drill bit. You can use this to drill through brick wall. Here's a look at everything that comes with this video doorbell kit. Let me show you how to connect the AC connector to the back of this indoor nightlight chime. What you want to do is place it in this location and then twist it and it'll lock it in place. Let's have a closer look at this IC Bell HD video doorbell. In the middle we have the camera. This is a 720p high definition camera with a 185 degree wide angle lens. Above the camera we have the speaker. Right next to the speaker this is the PIR sensor or passive infrared sensor to detect motion. Below the camera this is the photo cell to detect daytime or nighttime. Below the photo sensor, this is the call button and it's not a mechanical button. It's actually a capacitive button. To the left, we have the microphone. If you flip this over, you'll see we have this wall mounting bracket. You can actually separate this bracket from the video doorbell unit. All you need to do is lift this bottom part out and then this comes out. Now when you install this, what you want to do is install the bracket onto the wall and then place this doorbell unit on the bracket, push this down, and inside one of the bags you'll find a set screw. You install the set screw in here and it prevents the unit from coming off the bracket. On the back we have two terminals at the top here, pin 1 and 2. This is for the power input. And this unit accepts AC or DC between 9 to 24 volts. Below that, this is the unlock terminal and use pin 3 and 4 to control any electronic door locks you may have in your home. Looking at the wall bracket, at the back we have this rubber membrane right here. You can actually punch holes right here and feed the wires through this and then connect it onto the video doorbell unit. At the bottom of this bracket we also have a bubble level. You can use this to level this bracket when you're installing it on the wall. This kit also comes with an angle bracket which you can install onto the back of the wall bracket. And let me explain why you might need to use this piece. So if you install this video doorbell with the camera pointing straight ahead, if you have someone standing right in front of the door next to the video doorbell, it's possible that this lens here might not pick up the entire image of that person. So with this angle bracket, if you install it, it will allow the camera to be angled in this direction and with a person standing here the camera can pick up the image of that person. With regards to powering up the video doorbell unit as I mentioned earlier these two terminals right here will accept 9 to 24 volt AC or DC. So there are two methods you can use to power this unit up. The first method is to use the existing wire that's connected to your doorbell button. Typically those doorbell systems will output 16 volt AC and there are two wires that connect to that doorbell button disconnect those wires and connect it to these two terminals. The second method is to use the included power supply. This power supply will output 12 volt DC at one amp 
and on this end you see we have two bare wires and you connect this directly onto these two terminals to power this unit up. So if you have a home that currently does not have a doorbell installed or perhaps your doorbell is broken you can use the included power supply to power this unit up. Let me show you another mount that IC Bell makes for this video doorbell. This is the adjustable wall mount and here it is. So on the back side we have four very strong magnets. You can stick this onto a metal surface. In the middle we have two holes you can screw directly onto the wall. You can adjust the angle and the way you use this is mount this back wall plate directly onto the adjustable wall mount and slide it until it locks. So let me show you how to set up the IC Bell. First you want to go to the Google Play Store and install the IC Bell app. Next I'm going to power on the unit using the included AC adapter right here and on the back I've connected the power wire to the first two terminals right here. Next open the IC Bell app create an account select add a new device here we have the Wi-Fi video doorbell select next connect the power which we've done already next this next step tells you to press the setup button on the back and then the front call button will start blinking here is the setup button Now you see the call button is blinking. Select next. Now enter your router's password. Click the generate QR code. The next step is to aim the camera at the QR code about 10 cm away. So click next. Now it's finding the device. The device is added. Now you can leave the page. In the app, if you double click the device, it will open up the live view. While you're looking at the live view, if you tap on the screen, a menu will open up. On the left, there's a microphone, mute and unmute. Next to it is a speaker, you can turn on and off. In the middle, we have the full screen button. Next to it, this button is to take a picture. So now the picture is saved to your album. You can look at it now or check it later. On the far right, we have the button to record video. And now it's recording the video. Press the same button to stop. And this video is now saved to your album. Now if someone was at your door and rang the doorbell, now your phone will ring like a regular phone call coming in. You can decline or answer and have a two-way conversation with a person at the door. Now the doorbell feature will work even if the app is not open. Let me show you how to set up the indoor chime. On the side we have several buttons, volume, ring, mode, and setup. I'm going to power this on. If I press the volume button, you can adjust the loudness. Next to it is a ring button. Here you can select different ring tones. Now if you want to pair the indoor chime with the IC Bell unit, what you want to do is press the setup button for 5 seconds. Now it's in pairing mode, go ahead and press the call button. And the pairing process is complete. Now with the mode button, there are three modes you can select. There's light only, I'll press it again. Now it's chime only, I'll press it once more. Now it's chime and lights. Here you see I installed the IC Bell unit right next to my door. The installation was very simple. I removed the old doorbell button and connected the original two wires to the IC Bell unit. As for mounting the unit, that was also very straightforward. All I had to do was drill a couple holes in the wooden frame and install the mounting bracket using the included screws. Then I placed the IC Bell unit onto the mounting bracket and installed the security screw underneath.
So right now you're looking at the live video. So let me show you how well this unit works at night. As you can see, even in complete darkness, the infrared sensor is able to illuminate the area 20 feet away. And if you have someone walking up to your door, you can clearly see the image of that person. And this image you're looking at right now is being captured with no lights at all. For the motion detection feature, you can go into the setup menu and set the sensitivity of the motion sensing. You can also configure which zone in the camera view to detect motion. There's also a setting for schedule. So if you want to detect motion during certain hours of the day, you can do that also. Now when it detects motion, the camera will take a snapshot. At the bottom, you can view these events. So if I select this one right here, these are the still pictures it took. It has a day and time at the top left hand corner. Now if I scroll over here, you see some of these icons have a lock symbol on it. This is for the video call log and it's locked right now because that is a service that you have to subscribe where it will record the video and the two-way audio and this is stored on an IC Bell server so you can access it on the cloud. Overall this IC Bell video doorbell unit performed quite well. Video quality was quite good. I was especially impressed with the night vision performance given the size of this unit. The infrared LEDs were able to illuminate a large area in complete darkness. Devices like this can add an extra layer of security for your home, especially when you're out of town and you might have people casing your home or people coming to your front door and stealing your packages. Installation was very simple. The unit is waterproof so you can mount this outdoor. Well, I hope you found this video to be informative if you are in the market for one of these Wi-Fi video doorbell system. Now if you want to learn more about this product, I will put the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.